Let's talk about Gaga, five foot two. I'm sure by now you've all seen it, but if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Time's a wasting. Come on, let's get on the ball. The minute it came out, I watched it, and I loved it. Let me tell you a few of my favorite parts, and I know that there's going to be many, many more that you're going to find that you that I didn't even mention. Here's my favorite parts. It was so neat to see her working with her producers on Joanne. We got to see her, hear her sing Hey Girl with Florence, and we got to see her with Mark Ronson, which was also great. I was surprised to see her at Mark's car, but it was an accident. Let's talk about the Madonna scene. I wish um, Madonna would talk to her in person, or by phone, or anything uh, about her her music and all, instead of uh, going through the media. And this way, it's more personal and more friendly, and, and they know that they really like each other. They're two fabulous young ladies, uh, and I have my favorite. Gaga always do everything with a good intention. She is a special little lady. She never means any harm. And if anybody think that anything she says uh, is meant otherwise, then they're really, really entirely wrong. Madonna, are you listening? And another thing, I was surprised to see her smoking. I didn't know that she smoked all the time. It uh, might be bad for her voice. So um, it's something to look out for and think about. I watched the American Horror Store story um, season five but I didn't see uh, six it was real neat to see the uh, see her w behind the scenes with that part of the show she, she really looked scary in a way I wasn't sure if I wanted to watch it or not but I did and it, it just you have to think twice is that really her but I it is it's amazing how she can change and look so different and you, and people will look at her and say, that's, that's her, that's really her. And you have to take a second look to really find out or have somebody else to, to talk to you and explain it. So she, she is really great. She knows, she knows how to pull these things off. It was really nice to see the moment between Gaga and her grandma and also sad in a way too. It was nice to see that moment. But grandma hearing the song for the first time Seemed like Gaga has such a nice family, mom and dad and everything, and grandparents, and everybody is sticking together. They're real close to each other. And another thing that surprised me about Gaga in the movie, that how much pain she was in. I didn't know she was in pain so often, and uh, aching bones and stuff like that can really bring you down. I was surprised to hear that her hip, when she had that accident, that is still, in a way I'm surprised, and in a way I'm not, because I was in a car accident, and I had hip problem on my left, and I tell you, it just simply, it'll go away for a little while, but it comes back, and it grabs you, and I can, I can feel the pain for the little angel. I know how she feels. But she seems like she's doing real good now at times, and at times she's in terrific pain. I, I know she was in a lot of pain, uh, and she was in the hospital, but I sure hope she's feeling better and is back at home. Because the pain in your hips and things and your lower back can really, really knock you off your feet. So hang in there, sweetheart. You're going to get better. I, and I'm glad she's postponing some of her tours so she can rest and, and get over this. And Because and, if she doesn't and keep on going, she's going to be shot down and she's going to have to, to spend more time at home or in the hospital, no doubt. So time will heal everything. Just be patient. And it was also uh, great to see her at Tony's birthday party and hear the performance of Bad Romance. And it was real neat to see behind the scenes of our music video, Perfect Illusion. That was great. I think the last behind the scene was telephone. It was neat to see her in the desert with her Jeep and stuff and see how they filmed the video and all. So they're a great group of people. 
Okay, lastly, one more thing. Let's talk about the Super Bowl. It's really nice to see all behind the scenes. I was surprised that I had a chance to go, and it was just, it was just unbelievable. And I'm sure happy that I didn't miss it. it. It was neat to see her rehearsing, making sure everything was perfect. Even the jacket, everything had to be just perfect. And it was. It was really, really great. It was so amazing to see it in person. It was also nice to see that her friend Sonia could make it to the Super Bowl. And that was, that was great. And Gaga was able to spend some time with her. May she rest in peace. Overall, it was a beautiful look into her life and all the stuff that she does and all the happiness that she brings to everybody around her. I know she really warmed my heart and made, put a smile on my face. I love her. And I hope to be in her arena or her studio or wherever she might be performing in person again. I think I will. And if you haven't watched it, what are you waiting for? Watch it now. You'll, you'll love it. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll be waiting to see you. Bye-bye for now. And I'm really disappointed that she, the day she went to Walmart, that I wasn't there because I'm usually always at Walmarts. I could have met her in person again.